Hey beautiful people, I um, hope this finds you well. So here we are, we are on the edge and cusp of a new moon, new moon falling Friday. I was just having a look um, at my beautiful moon chart that hangs on my door. Um, it's full of so much information, so much layered information. And I saw that um, new moon um, is arriving Friday. Um, falling into the sign of Taurus. Um, me being a Taurian, I've been really, really feeling that. I, I think I've shared in some of the previous videos, you know, this feeling, uh, especially from late winter into early spring, this feeling of renewal. But I feel that it runs a lot deeper than that. It's, 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 it's so much deeper than that. It's like a feeling and a sense of, new things and new energies on the horizon and, and not said lightly you know it feels very profound it feels very deep it feels very nourishing it feels really warm um and i think that what really again kind of stirs that up this year more than any um and i've shared this before this kind of feeling of you know having a birthday that falls in springtime which you know as we've said before and a good friend shared with me you know this springtime is really truly nature's new year beyond the man-made dupe um, that starts on the 1st of january that really is out of whack and out of sync within uh, our natural rhythms you know you kind of you know how how can you expect to start new things in the depth of winter when it's kind of cold and you're kind of you know you're you're drawing back from the world um it just makes no sense but then again that's that's the world for you um nature's new year you know and that that's kind of you know the thing you know we, we want a road map follow nature's lead um it knows what it's doing and it's known what it's doing for thousands of years um you know and then we come along and go oh yeah we we need to control this you know it's just kind of bonkers really when you kind of think about it but the more you kind of you know you step back um the more you kind of place yourself on the edge and look in um you know you can kind of start to see things more clearly um that's when we get engulfed um in the uh the wave of the uh the matrix so to speak that we kind of you know just become immersed into it um but yeah nature's new year beginning around springtime or stara or even beltane you know having a birthday that falls in amongst that i've been really feeling this feeling of renewal more so this year than any other and um, but it feels deeper than that as i say it's this feeling of um like something new birthing above and beyond the horizon it's almost this feeling of it coming up over it's like a wave um and it feels really warm it feels really nourishing it feels soft um it feels gentle um wholesome it's 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 tangible yet very untangible feeling um it has a quality to it um so i kind of yeah wanted to share all of that um so those of you that have a birthday um around this time you know i really do feel it is a springboard for quite profound change um and i think for all of us there is this profound sense of renewal uh, beginning to rise um and what's very very interesting is very interesting is that come the weekend um i'm gathering with some medicine medicine folk and undertaking um a sweat lodge so you know that anchored in around this time um feels very potent as well and i thought that it'd be really beautiful to weave um, an oracle card now this beautiful 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 deck was gifted to me on my birthday uh, by my partner in crime who works with me 
on the earth journeys and so much of what we weave within our ceremonies and rituals um, and joe had gifted me this beautiful deck um, art and soul oracle deck um, crafted by emma and john wakefield for um father and daughter um beautiful artists so this deck is so very 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 special and i've known um, john for many many years so to be gifted one of his decks um is really 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 uh, an honor and beyond beyond special so haven't used them going to take them with me at the weekend um and use them um with some friends um but really really looking forward to um opening this and uh, opening this um and seeing what card comes out for us so a collective insight um i just very gently returned from the uh the boffy and the herbery is very truly underway um so again with a new moon um arriving in a few days time um it felt really wonderful to, to kind of go down there and you know have a bit of a, a, a beyond a, a little bit of a tidy up not that there was much to do at that level but kind of organize and you know kind of get some of the bed beds prepared some of the seeds have already gone in and uh catching that new moon tide feels feels right as well because within within about six or seven days the moon will be tipping into a new and waxing um so it'll pull those seeds into germination um but yeah really beautiful herbery and over the last week we never stop learning do we over the last week um i was gifted some beautiful knowledge around oats um and harvesting them for medicinal properties um, so milky oats um, making it into a teacher um, because oats milky oat the milky aspect of the oat just before it turns into kind of the grain um, is a nervine so really potent for rest and digest um, really good for those that have had burnout um, really restorative um, helps with sleep anti-inflammatory but but the core of it is really calming the nervous system and i think that in the times that we live in it's um a kind of uh, a plant that has come on to uh, or come into my awareness um because of those uh, medicinal properties um because the world around us is is you know uh, overstressed overworked and undernourished without a doubt um so yeah these these plants you know little medicine story i was cycling um along the trackway and all these plants popped up I hadn't seen before and there were medicine plants and spirit just very gently said to me oh so the plants are returning so is its people meaning that if the medicine plants are uh, returning so are its people that have or share the knowledge to be able to use these plants um and i just think that's really really beautiful you know we're living in interesting times that is for sure um so yeah um oats um are being sown there um at the uh the herbery at the boffy um alongside um some interesting plants like mugwort chamomile uh valerian uh vervain um what else we got chamomile we said um we got some food crop as well uh pumpkin and beets chard um love beets we make a really amazing incredible beet and chili burger courgettes nice staple got leeks in the ground that, that are ready now for harvest and we are harvesting them um and then we've got sage thyme rosemary um two different types of thyme um lemon balm mint borage nip bone um just a whole array of herbs and we hope to be able to make some weaves and craft some um or 
aura sprays as well uh, as we got gifted i got gifted a wonderful still from a really 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 dear friend of mine um an auburn um to be able to distill the herbs um into what's known as a hydrosil uh, which is part water pie oil and then mix it into an aura spray like florida water if you've ever come across that um, so there you are a little bit of an update um so yes uh, the boffy is uh shifting into a herbary um and there's such a beautiful 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 community down there uh, wonderful people pulling together um new people that have really come into that space um and really brought such um knowledge and wisdom and joy and goodness and laughter and fun um so it just feels a very very special place to be so let's open these cards um and weave weave um an oracle card and as i say come the end of the week i shall be taking that journey uh, which feels very profound um, at this time so there won't be a video for a few weeks after this one um, and as we move into summer the rhythm may change as well uh, as we start to spend more time out on the land so let's have a look at these but look at the back of the deck look at the back of the deck beautiful beautiful as I say I will put links into this as well it was a very exciting shuffling these okay one more time no this one okay <laughs> it's like listening away okay so I'm gonna turn it towards me so I can see <laughs> oh this card really does speak volumes to me personally um really does speak per uh <laughs> speak really powerfully to me i just absolutely love this image it feels very very apt to what i've been feeling i think you know some of the videos going back i said i felt this urge to just simplify 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 and just this sense of a pack and a staff and a hat and out the door i go um well this card is really really reinforced that and i wonder what message it brings to you look at the image of that traveler what a beautiful beautiful image and if you see in the distance there you can make out someone traveling with a staff <laughs> profound really does remind me of odin as well and the story of odin and his ravens which were known as thought and memory that would travel off into the world early in the morning through the mists coming from the other world the mist the veil the the hedge the liminal you know some metaphors and kind of moving from the other world into the world and traveling um gathering knowledge and wisdom and the news of the day and then traveling back to odin all before breakfast time um, and sharing that knowledge and wisdom with him so it really does speak and you think about odin one of the ways that i honor him when i light the candle there on the altar is beloved odin all father wanderer warrior seeker storyteller i dedicate this light this flame to and for you that's one of the ways that i honor him so you think about that wanderer warrior seeker storyteller things that really do move through me it's like you know these deities that work with us they they influence us in profound ways so i wonder how this card speaks to you and it's also that that inner journey that journey within what is it 
that needs to be found? What is it that needs to be rediscovered? When I ask that question, place your hand on the heart, what is the first word that comes up? There you go, beautiful, beautiful insight. I hope you've enjoyed that. And um, as always, it's a heartfelt pleasure. And I'll be seeing you on my return and uh, we will catch up with some stories no doubt um, as I return for the wood smoke and starlight and then we'll be weaving those stories in the weeks to come until then go gently go with ease travel lightly and keep shining much love bye bye